today one of the most misunderstood supercars. This is a 1971 Alfa Romeo Montreal. To some sort of expo back in 67, Alfa Romeo displayed this as a show car. It was introduced in Montreal, the most beautiful city in North America, by the way, if you've never been there. It's, it's just incredible. And so they named the car after it. This is Montreal, Canada, and it is a Canadian city with very European roots. It is located in Quebec, Canada, the only French-speaking place in all of North America. You speak of Canada. I used to live in Canada. Oh my God! Yes. That's awesome. So you lived in Montreal, yes, where? I oh, see it. is it not perfect? It's the perfect. I told my husband we need to get a house there. It's yes. Montreal, that totally unique Canadian city that has that East Coast flair with the European twist. Festive and French speaking, Montreal feels at times very familiar and yet completely foreign. Canada's second city had always fascinated us, from the architecture to the language and history. And after visiting many times, we finally took the plunge and actually moved there. Montreal just clicks for us in a way that other cities don't. Very warm, welcoming, and there's so much culture. In addition to being awarded Canada's cultural capital by Monocle magazine and a city of design by UNESCO, Montreal ranks as one of the most livable cities in the world. Montreal is even ranked second among the 10 happiest places in the world, described as clean, friendly, and refreshingly cosmopolitan. Montreal is a bastion of multiculturalism in North America. It's a city where people get along well, very nice people. I mean, everyone I've talked to so far hasn't like shrugged them off. They're very nice people here. Montreal embraces the old, they embrace the new, they live in harmony. I love this place. I miss this. Oh, how about you? Je t'aime Montréal. Montréal. <laughs> it's been three years. It's been so long that I'm Montreal and it feels so, so amazing. Yeah. Montreal, uh, it's amazing. Montreal has my heart. I'm already in love with this place. This place is absolutely insane. It's beyond words how beautiful everything is. Like it's such an aesthetically pleasing place. It's so pretty. Bro, the buildings are crazy. <laughs> like even look at the windows over there. Yeah, like imagine <laughs> living up here. It's so sick. Look at this. Look at that bridge between the two buildings. All these buildings going up. Wow, it's so clean here. That looks like Berlin. It does not feel like California at all. Completely different vibe. So much diversity. It's a really beautiful place. Very happy to be here. This movie, shooting it in Montreal. I loved it. I feel like because of the culture there and the little, we had a really sweet crew and like really yeah. wonderful experience. There, I just, honestly. and I loved saying merci to everyone. It felt like we were in Europe somewhere and everyone was so kind. To my surprise, this has been overwhelming actually. I haven't been anywhere in North America quite like this. I love the architecture here. Look at the buildings. So much detail. Just the mix of the old and the new, you don't get a lot of that in the States. It's either dying, decrepit, it's been renovated, or it just looks like crap. Me being from America, well, this is super duper different. A lot of their houses are colored. It's really interesting to see all this architecture, but then they painted these bricks in different colors. It's really, really artistic. Just looking at it, I'm feeling like I'm walking through maybe an outdoor museum. We love the city's traditional plex housing, which mixes French, British, and American architectural influences and provides an impressive amount of density for the modest height. When I came here, it was like, you know those videos of people when they get the glasses that correct their vision and they can see color? It made Montreal so vibrant. It just imprinted on my mind. Oh my, oh my God, it's overwhelmingly saturated with culture. I would just walk around looking at row houses on a plateau with my mouth agape, you know, like, oh, it's so beautiful. This street is so colorful. Oh, this is my favorite mural I've seen so far. I have found my place. One of my favorite things about Montreal is that there's so many big murals everywhere. It's definitely like the artsiest city. I'm saying I think Montreal is my favorite Canadian city. I've been to Vancouver and Toronto and obviously Fredericton and Halifax and Charlottetown. And, oh, Edmonton. But I love Montreal. Montreal is my favorite city. It's just bustling and not in like a Toronto kind of a, there's a lot of people everywhere. It's, it's vibrant, it's a very alive city. It's boring right now. Crazy man, look how many people are there. There's so many people out in the street. It's a Monday night, people are out and about. In the street. One of the main things we've noticed that we love is that there are so many pedestrian streets everywhere we go. More cities should have more pedestrian walkways. I'm from Los Angeles and I'm used to seeing a lot of cars so when I'm in an area with a bunch of people walking around and relaxing it just feels so homey and nice.
One of my favorite things to do in Montreal is just eating at terraces with my friends. I feel like the ambiance that you get, especially at night, there's so many people around you. Don't pass up a terrace, a terrace, the patio, the outdoor seating in front of restaurants and bars, because in the summertime, in the fall, in the spring, when the places are open and you can be outside, it's fantastic because Montreal just has this such cool vibe. I'm getting goosebumps talking about it. I've only been in the city for like, I don't know, it's been a short time, but I feel like I've got the vibe. I've uh, internalized it. I feel it and I love it. It's so nice at night. I love it. Uh, hey vlog, Bonsoir. how's it going? And how cool is that? It's like floating object. And is this just a park? And there happens to be some kind of weird sculpture that's lit up above them. What? Oh my god. I'm like falling in love with Montreal. Yeah, Montreal's great. You just could not beat this. Starting in the parks, warming up, and then hitting the streets to make our way to the Olympic Stadium and slowly seeing the Olympic Stadium rise up through the horizon was something I will never forget. I mean, the way we came led you right to the podium that they have outside and then where the flame was, the Olympic rings, and then you can see the stadium and the tower in the background. No, that was just, that. we took a moment. <laughs> We stumbled upon the Vans World Tour, the, the skate park that they built right at the foot of the Olympic Park. You know, a great place to put a skate park, obviously right next to where the Summer Olympics were held. It's just a great way for kids to start. I love the setup that they had there for that. Yeah, the ambiance was, was perfect. Ah, look at it, look at it, look at it. <laughs> I love Montreal. Like, seriously, I love Montreal, everything about it. I've never been here. It's a... Oh, it's a great city, yeah. I, it's, it's incredible. It's so much better than San Francisco. I just got back from a little girl's trip to Montreal, and you guys, I am obsessed with it there. I literally already want to plan another trip to go back. I, I have so much to say. You're like one of those ladies who go to Montreal, and then suddenly everything is about Montreal. Whenever we mentioned living in or moving to Montreal to people elsewhere in Canada, we'd almost always hear back something like, oh, I love Montreal. And they'd often tell us about their good experiences visiting or even living there. It's like a lot of those like small things that just add up to a really cool experience. If you compare Toronto and Montreal, and this is going to rub some people in the wrong place, Montreal feels like it has more soul. What is the biggest difference between Toronto and Montreal? I don't really know, but I know that there is a friendlier vibe here and it just feels like everybody's in their own element and it feels like everyone's just like dressed so cool and different and it feels as if like it's more of an artistic city. Compared to Paris, I feel like interactions with strangers are way smoother. If I pulled out a map, people have come and asked if I need help. People seem to just have less stranger danger here. What overwhelmed me the most is the friendliness of the people. Without exception, the people we interacted with were the epitome of kindness. Not the faux, nice say you give me a big tip nonsense. Genuine, no strings attached kindness. That is by far Quebec's best kept secret. This is our last morning in Montreal. Had a blast. It's such an amazing city, I love this city. Had a really good time here in Montreal. Honestly, can't wait to come back. I could honestly see myself living here. Back to America. I'm moving to Montreal, it's official. I love it, it's so great. If you haven't been to Montreal yet, like add it to your bucket list, especially if you live in America. Like truly, it's a no brainer. I just love these people so much and I would do, <clears throat> I would do anything to work with them every day for the rest of my life. Seriously, it's my favorite cast ever, my favorite crew ever. And I just love all the time that we've had to just go on walks together, ride bikes, and just enjoy a summer together in Montreal. It's a beautiful city, I fell in love with the city, and I wanna live here forever with all of them. <laughs> <laughs>